and welcome to the start of a new 48 hour reading vlog and this one is going to be intense because it is peace talk which is for Romathon and I am a co-ruler of Serene. If you don't know what Romathon is it's hosted by Cassidy from Covers with Cassidy. I'll put her link down below. It's still not too late to join Team Serene but this weekend is peace talks which means extra points for your realm. So every book you get is like extra 10 points on top of all of those other points that you can obtain so of course we have to be strategic so this weekend i have some big reading plans not so much is going on this weekend today is actually my birthday and we're gonna be doing a couple other birthdayish things this weekend we are gonna be going to some bookstores and of that nature however I'm going to be doing a lot of reading down this weekend because the weather is supposed to be super crappy. So Team Serene has this plan that we're going to try and read as many Wayward Children series books as possible because the Wayward Children series will get us so many points because we'll get the 10 points and for like being peace talks and 10 points just off the bat for being whimsical. And that's 20 points without any of the other five prompts that we can pull from. So these are the books I'm trying to read as much as I can. I have already read the series, so it will be a reread. I do have Every Heart Adore, which is the first one in the series. I'll be listening to these audio and and I'll also be reading physically. Also, I would like to read Lore Olympus, the graphic novel, which was on my TBR originally prior to it falling down in Jenga. Also, I would like to maybe be interested in reading Dowry of Blood as well, which I can both count those. I count Dowry of Blood as whimsical. Lore, I don't believe is whimsical, but it's a quick read to get points for Serene. Other than that, I really don't know. I mean, hashtag literally none of these books are on my TBR for the month of April, so we're a little bit, a little bit trouble. But I'm super excited. We're having tons of sprints this weekend. I'm hosting sprints Saturday night. Cassidy will be doing sprints um, to kick it off. They will be at 9 o'clock my time because she's two hours behind me, but you know, we're ready for this. I'm going to probably open a drink since it's my birthday and read it tonight and maybe I will do some crocheting and listen to a little bit of an audiobook but I also do want to read this physically because I've actually never read the first one physically I listened to this originally on audio so I'm super excited to read this one and yeah I have you don't know what the wayward children series is it's a portal fantasy series by Shawnee McGuire where these children stumble upon these magical doors that send them off to different lands depending on their needs and what is lacking for them in the real world and each one follows follows some different characters or they take place at the actual wayward school for children which is ran by Eleanor herself and I'm super excited to dive back in this world. I just recently reread the one of the other ones. I can't think maybe the third one because it um, had kind of segued into the newest release that had been come out this year. So I read it just to kind of review some of the characters and to kind of be up on terms of what happened in that book to help me understand this newest book that came out. But you know, I'm really excited to read the series. I'm rambling. I need to get ready for sprints that are starting soon. So I will check in once I've read Hi. something. Hello, everyone. No, no, no. It's Peace Talks, Marissa. None of this. Oh, great, great. Uh, so Maya, we all love each other. <laughs> Close. Having each other in the back. Yes, yes, we are. So rude. Oh my God. We're talking through. Maya, I love it. Hi, future me. Hi. Hello. It is officially Saturday. Yes, Saturday. So a little bit slower start to my morning, but we're going to just go with it. I should have vlogged last night because I finished two books, but it was late and I was super tired. So I do have Grayson with me, but I did finish, like I said, two books. I finished Allure Olympus, the graphic novel, and I really enjoyed that. I gave it three stars. The artwork was really, really fun. The ending is like a little cliffhanger at the end, so I am excited to continue that series. I think the next one is coming out in print fairly soon, so hopefully I won't have to wait too long. I feel like I can't say too much about it because it is so short, but it is a Hades and Persephone's retelling, which is not something I generally gravitate towards, So, but I did really enjoy it, and I really liked the artwork, so I got some good points for story for that. And then I listened to the first book, um, Every Heart of Doorway, part of the Wayward Children series. This is a reread for me, and I absolutely love loved rereading this. I gave it five stars and I know some people don't care for the first one but I love learning about the world with some of the characters as well and the mystery that is going behind that one and I think it really introduces this whole concept of what the wayward children it, like is so well in that first book. And I know some people really like have found it fun to have like go back and reread the first one after reading the whole series to see how it's all pieced together and I was 
love to be back into that world. So I'm going to continue probably today reading the second one of audio. It's only like four hours and then I'm going to double speed that or triple speed that or whatever it is and get through that very, very quickly. And I'm going to continue maybe reading the Diary of Blood I want to start with. I don't know. But we're going on a little day trip just around the town. And so I don't know how much reading I'll get done today in the beginning part of my day, but definitely tonight I'll be reading a lot. So I'll check in. Later in the day on Saturday, I've not done much checking in because we did do some like leftover birthday things that Sam had planned. And one of them was to bring me to a bunch of bookstores. So we went to my indie bookstore, which I will be posting a video, but I did pick up a book there and I read it and I really liked it. And it was a graphic novel and it's called Moonstruck and this is volume one, Magic to Brew. It was only $10 and that's a great deal. I feel like for a like graphic novel type book, it's not a big one either. But this is from the creators of Lumberjanes, I believe. So it's this, this like this little town where all these monsters live and they go to a magic show and something happens there and they're pretty much trying to get things back to how they were before something happened at this magic show. It's queer. The artwork is absolutely gorgeous. I love the coloring. There is a lot of plus size rep in here as well so like checks off all those boxes that I'm looking for in a good book it's really funny too and I actually caught myself laughing at this and I really said I was gonna pick up the other volume of this at my bookstore but I didn't pick it up and I'm really sad so I'm hoping that I can get them soon because I do want to continue with this and I'm gonna give it four stars so I don't typically run at graphic novels through caw pile especially something this short I do I read these more on how I feel while I'm reading it my enjoyment level and so I'm gonna give this a four which I'm really really excited it's really funny like they do like these references to another book that one of the characters like girlfriend or per woman that she's interested in and it's really funny and she like has like these notes on it like making fun of it and the artwork changes too so it's like fun to see such the range of artwork that is included in here and yeah um i really like this and i think it's pretty funny so i would definitely recommend this one and yeah so this would definitely count as a whimsical fantasy so i'm gonna already have 20 points because of the peace talk points and for the whimsical points that's 20 points right off the bat and so i gotta go through and get my other points but yeah i'm really excited that this went really well and then i picked this up at the bookstore today and i'm mad at myself i didn't pick up volume two so i'm gonna log this in though still into cow pile just because i do to keep track for my stats and then i'm probably gonna update my bullet journal and then maybe listen to the second book in the wayward children series and maybe crochet a little bit not really sure but I'm off to a really good start. So three books. I'm very happy with that. So I am on sprints. Marissa's hosting right now. And then I'm hosting starting at 6.30. So I'm really excited to keep Ramathon and Peace Talks going. I will check back in a little bit. Saturday night. Not a flattering angle, but we're just gonna go with it because I'm lazy. Like, let's be honest. But I figured I should probably check in because I have finally finished another book. So we are down four books for this weekend, which is absolutely amazing. So I don't even know if I vlogged. So I did read this book. Did I tell you this? Yeah, I probably did. Did I? Yeah, yo. Yeah. I don't know. But I read this one. If I did not, <laughs> I don't even remember what I've vlogged if i didn't vlog it i'll put right here the rating of it i'm pretty sure i did yeah i did oh man i'm having a mental breakdown crisis brain fog whatever you want to call it because i'm now it's coming back to me okay 
back on track. <laughs> so I finished Down Among the Sticks and Bones. Is that the exact words? It's by Sean McGuire, the second book in the Wayward Children series. This follows Jack and Jill and their particular story with their door. When I first read this, I think I gave it five stars. I did not use Cow Pile back then. It was definitely a lower five stars, if I recall. And I'm not surprised. It's not one of my favorite ones. I really do like Jack and Jill. I think their story is very interesting. So I ran it through Call Palace time and it came out as 4.5, which I'm not surprised on that at all. I still really, really enjoyed it. For just for some reason, it's just not one of my favorites. I don't know if it's because it's not my favorite world, but it is really creepy and very dark. And I really mm. like the discussion of the of gender roles and how gender roles are created a lot by your parents because Jack and Jill are obviously twins and they decide to raise them very differently. Where we have one who is the quote unquote they call her the tomboy, and then the one that very much like a princess almost like doesn't wear dresses all the time, like doesn't can't get any dirt on her. And they were so conditioned and shaped by their parents that it really dictated their entire personality. And I really like that discussion and that idea of being two twins and yeah. I really like that aspect of it and I think like it's super intriguing. I wish their story was a little bit longer but I know these are short books that is what it is type of thing but I really enjoyed it and it gave us quite a bit points so I am loving it. So I'm obviously hosting sprints right now and I have given them like the option I was like what should I do and I gave them should I continue with the Wayward Children series or should I go to a diary of blood and this is something that we're going to. I don't know anything about this. All it is, it's, I know it says it's a dreamy reimagining of Dracula's brides. And that's all I got. So everyone says this is a really quick read. And a lot of people in the chat says they've read this already this weekend and flew through it. So I am excited. And this is, Cassidy has rated this one a four or five. I want to say a four. So I could do a toast to the goddess prompt if I can find other prompts to fit it. And that would be four points right off the bat, which would be really good. That's like the highest you can get on like the point cards or whatever you want to call them but you know what I mean if you're participating so yeah so I'm hoping to get this one done really fast maybe read this tonight and yeah it's like 230 something pages so a very quick read not as short as like the Wayward Children series but still really fast so I'm gonna go back to reading because I've not literally read nothing during these sprints like this next time sprints and this angle is so unflattering like I'm over it so I will check in later Hello. Lighting's really bad. I apologize, but I'm in my bedroom cleaning and listening to an audiobook and I figured I should update. I really failed at updating this vlog. So last night we did spread to my channel till about three in the morning, which is insane, but I did finish a diary of a diary of blood. Yes. And I have four stars. I really, really liked this story. I love the retelling of like perspective from Dracula's wife or vamp. Yeah, I think it's Dracula's wife, I believe. There's so much queer rep in this story. I absolutely loved it and really, really appreciated this. I also think it discusses a lot about toxic relationships and healthy relationships and feeling stuck in a relationship and you know try to get out of it but yeah it did take me a minute to get into the perspective because it's being told like our main character is talking to her husband so that was a little bit different at first but once I got into the rhythm of it I really did enjoy it I wish it was a little bit longer I feel like it definitely could have been longer but I get it it is it's just a shorter novel but listen to a lot on all audiobook and the audio itself is really good and I could he was able to use this for some really good points because also is a Cassidy favorite so I was able to get toast to the goddess which is four extra points if I was able to get positive points which I was so really good book but I have been listening now to in an absent dream I think it's called I'm looking at my shelf right now this is Lundy's story who we're introduced to in the very first one this is the fourth book in the Weird Children series I really like this one it takes place at a, the goblin market and yeah I really like this one I don't I didn't remember much of it until I started reading it and I was like oh it came back to me I was like yes 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 love this one so originally I gave this one five stars so it'll be interesting to see how many stars I give it now. I am listening to it via audio and I'm cleaning my room because my bedroom is disgusting. However, there's not much left of the readathon for the 48 hour readathon. And I really wanted to get this book done, but like I've been super busy today and I have like 50% left. So I don't know. I am going to be doing it on three times speed. Hopefully I can finish it just in time for the 48 hour readathon to end so I can get all of my extra points. So I'm going to check in later. I'm going to go, I need to go back to my audiobook and I need to keep cleaning. So I'll see you after for now. This is a very strange angle, but we're just gonna go with it because why not? If you know with me by now, vlogs are chaotic and that's just become my MO and identity on this channel. So we're just gonna go with it. 
So, Ramathon Peace Talks edition is officially over. The readathon is still going on, but Peace Talks, the 48 hour readathon portion, is completed. And I should have probably checked in last night, but you know, that would make sense, and that would make sense. But I did finally finish just in time the fourth book of the Wayward Children Children series, which is In an Absent Dream. This story follows Lundy who we are introduced to her in the very first book. And I really like Lundy's story. I forgot how much I really enjoyed this. And so she wants to do what she wants to do. And so she enters the Goblin Market, which is a world found on logic and reason and riddles and lies and kind of like bartering with things. And yeah, I really like this story. I did forget how much I did like it in following up her story and I absolutely love the cover. This might be one of my favorite covers in the Wayward Children series. So yeah, I definitely ended on a high note and this definitely got some really good points for Serene. So in total in 48 hours, I read the three Wayward Children series. So I skipped the third one because I had already reread it in January before the newest one came out. I read A Dowry of Blood and I read the graphic novel. So obviously I had given, I think my highest rating were the first Wayward Children series and this one. I gave the second Wayward Children series book a 4.5. I gave A Dowry of Blood a 4.5 and the graphic novel, I wanna say I gave a three or a four. I don't remember, I, it was something like that. So so I had a really successful reading a weekend and I can't wait to continue this momentum into the next week of Ramathon to continue having hashtag Serene Slays and we are doing awesome and yeah so if you made it to this point in the vlog of this pure chaoticness and you know how I roll here um we'll put a wave down because obviously I am the co-ruler of Serene so it's only fitting but obviously we'll go with the wave emoji and yeah so if you want to take this chaotic and crazy journey with me please make sure you press the subscribe button if you're my friend on any other social media platforms i'm on tiktok instagram and twitter all the information is linked down below stay kind love so see you next time bye